For my professional experience module, I decided to complete a traditional work placement. This would involve working with an established company to gather relevant experience and skills. In my case, I actually completed work experience at two different companies. The first of these was BBC Radio Oxford and the second was BBC Coventry in Warwickshire. I'll start by looking back on what I did at both of these placements. When working at BBC Radio Oxford, I primarily worked every Saturday on the station's Saturday sports show. Hello, this is Jerome Sale on what could be, probably will be, the final day of football for Oxford United. There is just a chance though, so we'll just say it's the final day of the regular season. The final Saturday afternoon programme from BBC Radio Oxford Sport. The Saturday Sports Show is, as the name suggests, a show looking at the sport in the area of Oxford. This includes a live commentary of the Oxford United FC's game that day, as well as reports from other journalists based at lower league fixtures that involve smaller local clubs. Yeah, it's a match of huge importance and significance for both sides. City fourth in the table, they face four games in eight days. Brackley, topping the division, need just one point in order to be crowned champions of the Southern League. Premier Division. Although I was involved in contacting these journalists and making sure they were ready to speak to the presenter Jerome Sale when required, my main task were to assist studio-based broadcast journalist Marcos Young with two important jobs. The first was to help with editing audio of goals occurring in both BBC Radio Oxford's live commentary game as well as Premier League fixtures that were being broadcast on BBC Radio 5 Live. The second was to help man the phones during the live call-in segment at the end of the show. It quickly became apparent that my current skill set at the time was very useful when carrying out these tasks. I had edited audio clips before. This meant that even though I had not previously used the Jutel Radio Man editing program, I was able to complete the task with relative ease. Arsenal on the attack inside the penalty area. Yossi Benayoun curls it into the net. Oh, what a goal! One minute and six seconds on the watch. Yossi Benayoun was just left in a little bit of space. Left hand. Saying this though, I had never had to edit them in such a small time frame and whilst under the sort of pressure that only comes from working on a live radio show. When looking at my role during the phone-in, I think it first has to be explained that it's not as simple as just picking up the phone, talking to the caller and putting them through to speak live on air. Terry, you're first up. 08459 Good evening to you. Hi, what a, a really what a disappointment to the end of the season. Really disappointing. Seven games without a win now, last last seven games. That is definitely not promotion. The main issue to deal with relates to making a judgment about whether the views and opinions of the caller would be suitable for broadcast. Although I benefited from my prior knowledge and experience of law in relation to broadcast journalism, I often had trouble deciding if the caller was safe to put on live radio. This was because I would often have under a minute to talk to them and get a rough idea about what they wanted to say to the presenter. After conversations with Marcos Young, I soon learnt that when dealing with callers that I was unsure of, it was far better to not put them through, and it was better to be safe than sorry. As you can probably gather, the key skills that I learnt from my time at BBC Radio Oxford related to dealing with pressure and how to make a quick and accurate decision. This is something I could only learn from on-the-job experience such as this. <laughs> I will now move on to look at my time spent working at BBC Radio Coventry and Warwickshire. This was slightly different to my work placement at BBC Radio Oxford. I spent a month on placement here working five days a week on various shows produced by this station including Malcolm Boyden's Drive Time Show. Malcolm Boyden. David, thank you. So tonight, the haves and the have-nots. As Jaguar Land Rover prepare to pump 200 million quid into the local economy, the Sky Blues can't afford the rent. Good morning show. In the morning. Hello, good morning. A new poll has published a list of the top 20 uplifting TV moments from the last 10 years. And has TV ever been better? Or do you wish for a golden age of the box? Vic Minette's afternoon show. Vic Minette. Afternoon. Happy Thursday to you, Vic, here with you till 5 o'clock with loads of marvellous things. And Shane O'Connor's breakfast show. Good morning, it is The Breakfast Show on BBC Commentary and Warriors. You're starting off with Dire Straits and your latest trick. BBC Commentary and Warwickshire. 
This gave me the chance to get invaluable on-the-job experience as both a broadcast journalist and a broadcast assistant. I soon learnt that the skills I have acquired in my two years as a journalism and media student were of great deal of use. Many of the jobs tasked me such as writing new scripts and cues for presenters, as well as collecting numerous vox pops. Uh, I don't know about surprise. I mean, uh, I suppose, yeah, because you don't, cause, you know, when, when you order something, you expect to get what you order. I'm not surprised there's a mixture. I'd be concerned if there was uh, pig meat. In them. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised lamb, mutton, a bit of other similar meats mixed in. Yeah. Um, not really, because people t- tend to be quite vague with descriptions these days. You tend to get a lot of things that are sort of original flavour, which is kind of a meaningless term. So just because it says lamb kebab. But doing all these things on a regular basis they definitely benefited me and I feel that during my time at the station I got far better at doing them. One thing I did have to learn to do though was to adapt. I was working on different shows every week and with different producers and presenters, all of whom had different requirements and styles. Another skill I had to learn was to have good communication with members of the public. A big part of my job required me to recall members of the public or companies and persuade them to contribute to shows either with an interview or provide me with specialist information that may be of use to me. This was something I was not used to and one of my weaknesses at the beginning of the work placement. I now though consider myself to be relatively strong in this area. This will of course be a vital skill that will be hugely beneficial to me in the future. Throughout my time at BBC Radio Coventry and Warwickshire, teamwork was key. I had to work as part of a different small team each week, but also as a larger team at all times in terms of everybody that works at the station. This is of course an excellent skill to have in any job or in life in general and will be hugely beneficial to me in the future. So when looking back at my time at both my work placements I can confidently say that it has been hugely beneficial to me both in terms of future career prospects as I have gained a variety of new skills and contexts but also as a person as I think I've gained a lot of confidence and belief in myself and what I will be able to achieve.